Welcome to Baku, where we've had a busy start to day three of the European Games. Five gold medals have been handed out at the canoe sprint venue, Minga Chavir. In the Aquatic Centre, the first synchronised swimming medals of the Games have been won. And the Czech Republic have faced Duke Crane in the bronze medal match at the women's table tennis competition. Fine morning in Mingachevia greeted the first medal events in canoe sprint. The first competition was the men's kayak single 1,000 meters final, featuring two of the sport's top exponents, Max Hof of Germany and Denmark's Rennie Paulsen. It's Portugal and Germany who are battling it out at the moment. Denmark just behind, heading to the final 250 meters. Yes, this would be a turn up, but I think uh, Hof has timed this race to perfection. The yellow boat just coming through, it's neck and neck, they're very close up front, this is going to be a photo finish, Paulson, Paulson is coming back, I think Paulson's just got it from Hove at the moment, the Portuguese is dropping off Pimentel, but Hove comes through now, Hove is going to get it, and in fact the Portuguese has come back and Denmark is going to take third, so Hove gets it in a very respectable time, 3.27. Three times world champion Max Hof of Germany adding a European Games gold to his extensive medal collection and confirming his position as one of the giants of canoe sprint. Portugal took silver and bronze went to Denmark. In the day's second event, the men's canoe single 1000 meters final, Germany were represented by the London 2012 winner Sebastian Brendel. On recent form, the Czech Republic were his main opponents. Germany and Hungary here finish first and second in their heat and now the pressure starting to be applied by Germany in lane five. Czech Republic to the far side in the red boat and Hungary in green but it's uh, pretty well level pegging as they go to the final 300 meters. Yeah, it looks as though Brendel took a bit of a breather in the middle of the race but now he's got back into his stride. He doesn't want to lose this. This would be an embarrassment if he lost this race. So Brendel in lane five in the black boat, just above in the red boat is the Czech Republic Fuska and the Hungarian Vaja is going exceptionally well. This is the shocker. You know, the pole has been blown out the back end in the yellow boat, but it's certainly Brendel who's got it all together again towards the end of the, the race. We've shown, seen in every other race, it's this last 250 meter where the business end of the sport and Germany's Sebastian Brendel takes the gold in this 1,000 meter C1 for men. Germany, Czech Republic, Hungary, the one, two, three, and they dominated the race from halfway. It wasn't easy for the reigning Olympic champion, Brendel, who had to work hard for his victory, but he survived the test. The Czech Republic take home silver and Hungary the bronze. But now we move on to the women for the first time today and the women's kayak four. This is final way, so medals to be decided here. Russia in one, Poland two, Great Britain three, four Hungary, five Germany, six Serbia, seven Ukraine, eight Romania and nine France. Hungary leading though from Germany, Romania and Poland at the halfway point. Serbia in fifth place, then Ukraine, Great Britain back in seventh, then Russia second last, France at the tail. Nice drone picture here as they go through. Hungary and Germany and Romania down the middle. Hungary lane four, Germany five, we were expecting. Romania doing well though from lane eight. Yeah, eight. Hungary is really taking this on. This is good stuff. The German uh, four, they want to obviously make it three for three for Germany, but at the moment, the Hungarians, who really are the favorites, five time European champions, uh, the current Olympic champions, are carrying on their form. In the last 200 meters, Hungary gained control, pulling ahead of Germany to win decisively by nearly a second. There was a close race for third between Poland, Romania and Serbia. But Hungary were easily the best on the day. Hungary needed to be at their best to take gold and they were convincing winners. Germany continued to be in the medals, this time with the silver, with Poland taking bronze. The men's kayak double 1,000 meter final again brought together Germany and Hungary. 
who'd finished first and second in a strong heat the day before. The Hungary going well here in lane three. You saw the Czech Republic there really struggling to keep in touch with the others. But uh, these uh, here, lane three, Hungary, with the white boats, third from the right, are going to give the Germans a race here by the looks of it. Lithuania has just got a little bit of work to do between them to catch them up. And out on the left, uh, Italy still in with a chance of a medal. Yes, I think we'll see them start to drop off as the Germans come through. You can see already the Germans now have taken the lead with the Hungarian just outside of them and the uh, Italians are down in third position. But Germany, the powerhouse of this sport at the moment, are showing why. Reinschmidt and Gross just starting to pull away. But the Hungarians aren't going away. This is very close up front. There's not a lot in it. Uh, certainly the Italians have dropped back, so it's between Germany and Hungary at the moment. And Hungary, at the top of the, the picture, are looking good. Not a lot in it. You can see they're just about the same. And coming through, it's going to be Hungary, I believe. Hungary have beaten the Germans. Well, that is surprising. Both won the European Championships three times, but uh, today it was Hungary. Hungary therefore matched Germany's achievement of winning two gold medals out of the five available during the session leaving Germany with the silver and Belarus the bronze. Belarus were represented again in the final event, the men's canoe double 1,000 metres final, which provided the most exciting finish. Russia dominated from the start, but as the race reached its climax, they were starting to tire. So it's Ukraine, Germany and Russia fighting for major honours. Russia out on the right, just in front though, across the 250 metre mark. Uh, Russia, Ukraine and Germany are the three who are battling it out with Czech Republic just behind. Yeah, the Czech Republic are having a great race here. This is a surprise, but certainly the Ukrainians are going to form at the moment. Tough to see from this angle, but it looks as though uh, the Russians and the Germans are going to fight it out with uh, the Ukraine. Looks like Germany, Russia, Russia to the top of the picture deceiving the angle but it looks as though it's Russia, Germany and Ukraine at the moment with the Czech Republic in fourth but the two red boats are coming through in the middle they're having a strong finish Russia at the top starting to fade can they make it to the end it's Russia and Germany Russia Belarus are coming through Belarus took it right on the line what a fantastic finish so Belarus beats Russia they That's had a, a bit of a turn they had a lot to do they had a lot to do at the 250 metre mark. Uh, they had, from memory, only one boat behind them. They have put in a tremendous late spurt. Belarus just made it in time to take the gold, depriving Russia in the last few metres of the race. So it was silver for Russia and bronze for Germany. Two goals for both Germany and Hungary, and one for Belarus, with more medals to be won on day three of canoe sprint. The Aquatic Centre was a venue for the first synchronised swimming medals of these games. It was a final of the duet free routine. After the figures event, Russia, performing seventh, were ranked first. They have been superb so far, all the Russian girls. from crowd favorites Russia kisses from the coach this team has scored highest in the figures event done before this which ranks them first coming into this final so scores are now in the scoreboard Score for execution. Well, again, they've maintained their standards. Point six. It's a minimal Score improvement. For artistic impression. But all the results point are oh. right up at the top. Score for difficulty. 26. 8th and 11th in the figures. The only ones to challenge the Russian performances. They're both twins from a set of triplets. And they're born in Greece. Of applause. 
enthusiastic applause there from the crowd and the coaching staff for Anna Maria and Irina Marina Alexandri from Austria. Such an elegant routine set to that beautiful piece of classical music. Now, their performance yesterday in the figures might just be enough to make the difference. Uh, now with the scoreboard. Score for execution, 24. Correction. That score is an for execution, outstanding performance there. 85.86. That is nearly two points six, better. Six, they have been inspired, seven. these two. Scores for difficulty, 25. 1.8 points behind second place Ukraine, 1.9 ahead of the Austrian girls. The team there by Irene Toladano and Julia Echeberia. Delighted smiles from the coaching staff. They were ranked fourth coming into this final after having placed third in the preliminary round. Quite far into the competition. This is the fourth day of competition for the synchronized swimming athletes since starting on day zero, even before the opening ceremony. 25.7. Have they done enough to get impression. ahead of the Third Austrian girls? 86.1 is strong. Swim. Total score for the three routine. 86. Yaria is just 15 years of age. The partner, the older, more experienced at 17. second as well as in the figures after the figures competition was added to that score they came into this final ranked second obviously would have done everything they can during the evening and night after the rankings were announced to psych this house up get ready for today to give themselves every possible opportunity to edge closer to their main rivals and contenders for the gold scores are now in the scoreboard score for execution 25 they're jumping around because they've got themselves in the bronze the medal position and they two. look delighted and relieved scores at that for difficulty 26 point three. please note that the results at the scoreboard the are still not are yet official the these first results gold become official only after confirmation the by the referee aquatics center a dominant performance yet again by Filinkova and Kulagina, but what a performance by the two Austrian girls. So confirmation of the result. Gold to Russia, silver to Austria, and bronze to Ukraine. The Baku Sports Hall was a venue for the bronze medal match in the women's team table tennis competition. It was a Czech Republic versus Ukraine best of five matches, three players in a team who play two matches each. In the first match, Iveta Vatsnoska was representing the Czech Republic, Titania Belenko for Ukraine. The Czech players are all in red. Vatanovka. Vatanovka is 
Margarita Pesotska had the challenge of trying to win the second match for Ukraine to level the score. She was facing Renata Srivkova. Like in Davis Cup tennis, this team event also has a doubles match. The winning pair would take their nation within one victory of a bronze medal. So Czech Republic only needed one more win. Iveta Vatsanovska had the chance to get that for them against Jana Gapanova. the overall score, bronze for the Czech Republic. The gold medal match is between Germany and the Netherlands. Well, it is the volleyball action here in the Crystal Hall. The first ever European Games gracing the court. For the first match, we have the Russian Federation. That's the young ladies in blue there. Their opponents from Bulgaria. One of the favoured teams coming into this. The local Aziri fans, of course, experts in the sport. And it's been an expert start for Bulgaria. On set point here, they managed to execute the perfect block and seal the opening set by 25 points to 16. An excellent start for the Bulgarians. Russia just couldn't get to it, trying to reorganize themselves there. And here we go in the second set. Likewise, Bulgaria on the verge, on the cusp of a very important two-set lead. The service was deep and long. Good recovery from the Russians. 
but again it is a tail of the block delight for team bulgaria two sets to zero the russians trying to live to fight another day a little bit of bruise and batter there from the bulgarians but it was the block that made the difference a tale of the bulgarian team so far not just about the nice points lots of hard work as well into the offing here in the third set potentially the third and final set the match points are on the board for bulgaria 24 22 the good but the russians well they will not give up without a fight here keeping on pushing lovely soft hands at the net there and the stay of execution for russia 24 21 the first set point the first match point has gone a begging bulgaria having to regroup and reform on this russian serve well the fighting spirit of the russians they've pulled it back to 24 22 can they stay in this one as it proved the bulgarians were just a little bit too good for too long and they were more than meritorious of the win wonderful spike to seal the deal three sets to zero the winners bulgaria hard luck for russia but they will live to fight another day and the next match on pool a turkey versus italy well the passionate home crowd in the crystal hall and most certainly enjoying their volleyball action team italy here they're on a bit of a struggling situation here turkey on a set point and it's a nice setup and smashing spike and that will seal the deal the first set to turkey and the turks of course one of the favorites for the crown here in azerbaijan one of the strongest volleyball nations and they have a second set point in the second set an unforced error from italy it's 2-0 now to team turkey well, they're making short work of this the italians in disarray trying to hang on this the third and potentially final set the italians on serve well it's a nice little sneaky soft serve over the net they've pulled it back they've saved one match point the turks though will not be defeated they're hanging on in there italy again serving still set point still match point what can turkey do on this one they are two sets to the good well make it three sets to the good team turkey a triumphant trio three zero they win of course turkey hugely popular here in azerbaijan and that is a very popular win turkey take the win italy will have to fight it out in the potential repechage groups there's confirmation of the result volleyball women primarily pull a result the win for team turkey on day two of the artistic gymnastic team competition it was the final rotation of the team apparatus and the russians lead in the men's and the women's groups And then he just hits that, blocks, and creates tremendous height off the vault. There's one. There's two. There better be another half. There, <laughs> there is. There's, I'm sure Alia Mustafina, who we're watching now, is helping to mentor Tutkalian. Mustafina with so much more experience. Russians have a good margin and we'll find out after the next team sessions whether that's good enough to secure gold. It's day four of the group stages at the water polo. Serbia played Malta and were already 6-1 up in the second quarter. Serbia have been ruthless when they've had the man advantage. And Malta's misery continued 18-3, the final score. 
and a lovely strike from wide out. And Ukraine weren't having a much better time. They were down 10-2 to Italy by the second quarter. And that is squeezed nicely. And two for your troubles. But they are saved comfortably by the Italian. Look at this for Italy. It is an Italian delight. It ended there, 18-6. And that's the action so far. Much more world-class sport to come, including plenty of medals on day three at Baku 2015.